New York's marijuana law is leading to new optimism that could spark a new wave of economic growth here in the Queen City. Flora has been talking about putting a multi-million dollar cannabis campus in South Buffalo for about two years tonight. And as Natalie Fami shows us, the Buffalo Planning Board fired up the debate this evening. The Buffalo Planning Board gave the green light to a $200 million plan for a cannabis campus in South Buffalo. What we're looking to do is to take an, an old steel industrial site that represented the economy of Buffalo's past and to bring you know, what we think is the economy of Buffalo's future. Plans include three buildings, two for marijuana cultivation. The third would be an office building. We don't want it to just be cultivation and manufacturing, that there's going to be testing, there's going to be technologies. And this vast empty lot I'm walking through right now won't be this way for long. Construction is expected to start around this time next year. I think it's a great thing for Buffalo and for New York State. Zephyr Partners must now get construction permits before they can break ground. They hope to do that later this year. The Tax Foundation says recreational marijuana use could bring more than $430 million in revenue to the state. The cannabis campus could bring in 800 jobs from chemistry to marketing to management positions. The jobs from kind of top down, bottom up. One concern is the odor this could bring to the neighborhood. Engineers on the project say they have systems to mitigate that issue. Both uh, filtration system, HEPA filtration system, as well as the use of chlorine dioxide uh, to scrub um, exhaust air. And this project aims to benefit the whole community. To create equity opportunities for members of the disadvantaged communities around the state. In Buffalo, Natalie Fahmy, 7 Eyewitness News. Cities and towns have a couple more months to decide if they want to opt out and not allow marijuana to be sold in their community. Places like West Seneca, Marilla, and Lakewood have opted out. The issue also on the table on Grand Island. If a town opts out, that community will not get a share of the taxes for marijuana sales across the state. The village of Williamsville heard from people on the topic tonight. Now that this chemical drug will be so readily available in the near future, we will need all kinds of resources to keep our children safe and to also help the general public who may abuse this chemical drug. Nobody's children are gonna smoke any more weed than they do drink alcohol, and that's the point. Nobody's going to get a hold of it. It's kids already are drinking alcohol as it is. A village board says it will not vote until at least November 22nd. All communities have until December 31st to decide.